Okay, so in this video, we will solve problem 9C from problem sheet number 5. So the setup is that we have a regular deck of 52 cards. We've arranged the cards here according to their suits, cards of hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. And then in terms of their kinds, twos, threes, ten, up to king. And then here we're thinking of a hand of poker where the aces are the strongest cards. So, of course, there are four suits, 13 kinds. So we have a total of 4 times 13, 52 cards to choose from. And here we are being dealt randomly 5 cards out of these 52 cards. So we ask the first two fundamental questions of counting. So is the setup with or without replacement? Well, if you're dealt to the king of diamonds, well, you can't be dealt in the next case, the next card, the king of diamond again, right? Once you're dealt a card, that card is out of the deck. It cannot be dealt to you again. So clearly here we have a selection that is without replacement. And is it ordered or unordered? Well, if you have your hand of five cards and you shuffle them around, it's still the same hand of five cards. So because we don't keep track of the cards, we can shuffle them, still the same hand, then clearly here the order does not matter, so we have an unordered selection. Because we have an unordered setup, without replacement, we can use our knowledge of combinations. If you recall, and choose R is the total number of ways of choosing five elements out of a total of n elements in a way that is unordered, without replacement. So we can remind ourselves how many hands of five cards are there in total. Well, out of the 52 cards available, we choose five at random, again in an unordered and without replacement fashion. There are exactly 2,598,960 cards. Almost 2.6 million different possible hands of five cards when the cards are coming from a regular deck of 52 cards. We now want to count out of all of those possible hands of five cards, only those that have four cards of the same kind. So essentially we're counting the hands of five cards that have a quadruple. Before counting those in general, we can write down a specific such hand and then work from the special case to the general setup. So suppose we're dealt randomly five cards from the deck. So we know we have four cards of the same kind. Well, we have a quadruple of what? Is it a quadruple of twos, threes, up to aces? Say here we have a quadruple of queens. So we have four queens. Well, what are their suits? Well, we take here all of the four queens, so all the suits are represented. As we've said, the order does not matter. So it says the queen of heart, then diamonds, clubs, and spades. Now we have our quadruple, we're missing the fifth card. Well, as we care about four cards of the same kind, we already have our quadruple, the fifth card can be any other card. Say we have a six of clubs. So here's one example of a hand of five cards that contained four cards of the same kind, a quadruple of queens. We've counted one. Let's now count all possible such hands. Well, what did we do? Right? We first chose the quadruple, then we chose the fifth card. So let's do though. Let's do that in general. So how many possible quadruples are there? Well, as we've said, this comes down to choosing the kind, right? We have a quadruple of twos or threes or fours up to aces. There are 13 different kinds to choose from. 
And out of the 13 different kinds, again, twos, threes, fours, up to aces, we're choosing one such kind. So 13, choose one. Now we've chosen the kind. So we have a quadruple of twos or threes or fours up to aces, in that case, queens. And now we have to choose the corresponding cards from the kind. Say we've chosen queens. Well, how many of the queens are we choosing? Out of the four queens available, since we want a quadruple, we are choosing all four of them. So of course this is four, choose four. Out of the four queens available, we choose all four of them because we want a quadruple. Now we have our quadruple, we're missing the fifth card. So and, how many options do we have for the fifth card? Well, we have our quadruple, we've met the condition, the fifth card can therefore be anything else. Well, how many such cards are there? Well, there are 52 cards in total. Any remaining card does the trick in completing our hand of five cards. Well, we are four cards short, right? Initially we had 52 cards to choose from. The quadruple has been chosen. So four cards have been removed, given the choice of the quadruple, which leaves us with a remaining 52 minus four cards. And out of those we choose one, of course, uh, it's just that number, right? because we only get to pick one card. And there are 52 minus four cards remaining, and we now have counted all such possible hands. We can simplify this a little bit. 13 choose one is 13. Four choose four is one. And 52 minus four, 48. If you multiply 13 and 48, you get 624. So there are 624 possible hands of five cards that contain a quadruple. So you can see there's not that many relative to the total number of possibilities. There are roughly 2.6 million different possible hands of five cards, and only about 600 are hands with a quadruple.